All right, welcome back. Bell's Amazing Adventures. Today we're in Bell's Kitchen. <laughs> we're going to do a taste comparison against the uh, Sheephead, uh, Mangrove Snapper, and the uh, Mayan Cichlid that we caught the, over the weekend in uh, Sebastian Inlet. So, uh, what do you got going on? Some bread and some panko and some seasonings. Basically any kind of bread crumbs, will, whatever you like. Yes. Whatever seasonings, what do you got going on? You got some Everglades fish and chicken. Like some garlic powder. Yes. Some paprika, some, some parsley flakes. Parsley flakes. Some paprika. oregano. Some shrimp oregano. Black pepper. So we're gonna be frying this fish, or yes. so apparently we're gonna see how if it tastes any different while it's fried, because we gotta have dinner as well. Yes. <laughs> we don't we don't have a ton of fish to be doing all kinds of different stuff. No, we have a lot of quite a bit of sheephead. Well, so. The sheephead and the snapper look very similar. The Mayan's a little, but a little, I know that those are good. Little. So whatever. All right, so you mix up all the ingredients there. Mm -hmm. Now we'll make one of these. Make some flour. I'm making a mess. We just got some regular flour. What are you gonna do with that? You'll see. <laughs> so everybody, stand by and while we see corn what's going starch. on. A lot of cornstarch, apparently. <laughs> so you mix the uh, cornstarch with the flour. Flour, all right. Mm -hmm. You gonna put any more season or anything in there? Let's see, Everglades fish and chicken. Mm -hmm. Technically, you're supposed to put everything that you put in there on here, but. What are you gonna do with that? With the flour? I'm going to put the fish on this first, and then put it in eggs, and then put it in the breadcrumbs. Because the flour and the cornstarch help the batter actually stay. While you fry it. And well, that's your tip tick of the week. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it, learn that from a different channel. I think we could say Blue Gabe on here. Um, that actually wasn't Blue Gabe. It wasn't? No. His brother. That would be gear feet. So you mix it up the eggs. Then you're going to dip the fish in the eggs, then in the... No, in the flour. Oh, in the, the flour, then the eggs. Mm -hmm. But I need three separate plates so we can keep it separate. Where are the plates? Right here? Mm -hmm. Are you going to remember which one's which? Or do you want me to mark it on here? Mark it on this. Alright, so we got our three plates. <clears throat> We're going to do... Uh, the first one will be sheep head. This is hard to do while you're trying to. Video. It'll be sheep head. This will be snapper. And this will be fine cichlid. It's a good place to go. Little patty cake, all right. Dip it. You smear it around in that. That's the flour and mm -hmm. corn starch. Yes. All right. And then 
end. It's a messy job. Yes, it is. It's quite close. And you just smash it in there and kick it around a little. I think it would have been a lot easier to go to the fish market and this would have already been done. How would it have already been done? And I'm going to cook it for you. Mm. You can buy the fish and then you kind of come home and do the same thing. Well, all right. Well, I think How did rest, you think that the, the other time you've easier. had fish? How did you think the other times you've had fish in this house went? I don't know. I'm usually outside and I come in and it's on the table. Oh, that's a first-hand <laughs> experience. Well, this is... This is what? First and last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the sheep head went into the, uh, the mix of different spices there. Breadcrumbs. And... and paprika and garlic powder and fish and chicken stuff and all kinds of fun. Same thing. Same. There it is. Very textured. Sheep head. One down. Mm. Next would be the snack. Florida. Let's have a look at those flakes. Just your average mangrove snapper. <laughs> Averagely small. It was 10 inches. It was perfectly legal. Well, yeah, but. So but there's not a lot of meat on them, but. It'll be alright. So that goes in the egg wash. Gets all eggy and nasty. Gets all over your fingers. You slam it in the thing there. Gets all over the counter. Well, who comes and cleans all this up? Magic fairies do. Yeah. My magic fairies, they need me. The new shape that your mama gave you. Uh, well, you get the idea on that. Uh, we'll come back and check in when we start the actual cooking process. And our first victim is the sheep head. Mm -hmm. Old sheepy going in. All right, now how long does this process take? A couple minutes aside. Oh my god. I know. So, so frustrating. So now we sit here and watch it bubble until, how do you know it's done? A couple minutes aside. You just guessed? Pretty much. All right, so a couple minutes aside, uh, we're going to spare you the agony, awesomeness <laughs> of cooking all three different types of fish, but we do have it laid out. So that we don't mix them up. All right. So they're all done. All done. All cooked. They all look about the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So uh, which one are you gonna try first? Sheep head. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be hot probably, huh? That's the first one I took, so it's gonna be the coldest. All right, good idea. All right, so taste test number one, sheep head. Still a little warm. 
There's looks nice and flaky. Definitely some heat coming off of it. Yeah. Don't burn do. yourself. Is it hot? Warm. How's it taste? Good. <laughs> oh, like, very descriptive. Like fried fish? Yeah. All right, let me try a piece. It doesn't really well, taste like anything. I mean, it does. It tastes like but, fish. Yeah, but not like. But it doesn't have a fishy flavor. No, it just. It's, it's good. The consistency of fish is all it is. Yeah. It doesn't really taste like anything else. All right, try the um, try the snapper. That one's pretty good. It just tastes really not like too much, to be honest with you. It's also nice and white and flaky. This is the mangrove snapper. Nice white flaky. That's good. Does it taste better? I mean. <laughs> this is going to be the worst taste test you've ever seen if you watch it. Um, I mean, it's good. Yeah, but does it taste different? It does taste different. It doesn't taste as grassy. I don't know. Like, there's a different taste to that. Yeah, there is. Compared to the snapper. The snapper is a little better. It's pretty good. Yeah. So, so far the snapper is a little better. The sheep is not bad. It's just. It's not bad at all. The uh, mango snapper is just a little. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a little bit different. It's. It tastes a little bit better. Oh, now let's nice. try out the uh, invasive Mayan cichlid. Let's see. It's still white and flaky too. Yeah. White, flaky. Oh, it's warm. Warm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh my god. Is it better than the snapper? No. Is but it better than the sheephead? It's head? right there though. Like it's almost as good as All the right. snapper. Let me give it like, a shot. Like it's good. <laughs> I would say snapper, Mayan, and then the sheephead. Even they're all three really good though. But that Mayan's pretty good. Well. It's hard. <laughs> like none of them taste fishy. No, they're they're all good. The snapper and the Mayan are better than the sheephead. Mm -hmm. Huh. The sheephead's good. Yep. Yeah. Like they're all. I, I like them all. I'm weird. I didn't even douse them in anything. Uh, all right, folks. Here you have it. If you're gonna go fishing, and you have a choice. Snapper, Mayan, and then sheephead. But sheephead's still really good. Yeah. I guess it's just going to depend on how you want to cook it. And then again, we fried it also. Yeah. What do we know? Uh, Boosted quick and easy. Yeah. All right. So, there it is. Yeah. I'm, oh, uh, stay tuned because actually the next video, we're going to be in Lake Ida going after... Um, More Mayans and peacocks. Peacock, but we're not going to eat them, but... Not the peacock. Uh, peacock. Mayan? Yeah, Maybe. Uh, peacock bass, clown uh, nightfish, mayans. I don't know if they have those. Uh, the orange ones should be in there. Regular bass are in there. Yeah. The uh, largemouth bass, and just... sunshine bass, and. All right. Yeah. So you get the What's idea. What's that other thing? Oh, us uh, maybe snakehead. snakehead if we get lucky. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll see you then. Y'all have a good.